Hey, what's going on everybody? Ronkley here, and I'm going to show you how to get Descent 3 running under the program DXWND. Um, basically what DXWND does is it has a, it's called a window hooker, which basically means that it, any windows that are created by a program that it's uh, pointing at will behave in a specific way. And one of the things that one of the big problems with Descent 3 on modern systems is the, is the fact that its screen resolutions change frequently. And for someone with multi-monitor setup like me, that's a big problem. Also with streaming, uh, it's, it, it makes streaming extremely difficult. So uh, what you need to do is first you go to sourceforge.net slash project slash DXWND. You go ahead and you download your DXWND program. Um, it will download a RAR file, which you do need to unzip. I'm a little bit slow here, but that's all right. And we'll open up our desktop, and this should show up momentarily. Now, um, another thing to point out here is that you also need to know the command line that you need to run Descent 3 with. Now, I'm going to open up the original Descent 3 executable here, set up, and then you go to the miscellaneous tab. You can see I've got all these... Uh, command line switches here um, that do things such as set my width and height and aspect ratio and stuff like that. Um, for the sake of this discussion, I'm going to assume that you know what your command line is and that you don't need any information on the command line, but this command line is pretty important. Um, so I'm going to copy that over. Now I'm also going to go in t and show my d3.bat file. And this is something that you can do optionally as well. So uh, d3.bat is just very quickly. All this does is that it deletes a whole bunch of temp files and then runs the game. And you can see this here is the same as my command line. Um, and what we're going to do, we now have this downloaded. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. You can see all the information here. Now, you have to put this in a folder yourself, but for the sake of argument, we're just going to go ahead and create a folder on the desktop here called DXWND. And we're going to drag the contents of the zip file into the DXWND directory, and we're going to go ahead and run DXWND.exe. Now, when you first run it, you're going to have a blank window. Um, what you're going to need to do next is go ahead and create a new application. So you're going to add, uh, the name of it is called Descent 3. The path that you're looking for is going to be the path to your Descent directory. And the launch command is going to be the same as your path plus all of those switches that we put in. So launched, no intro, frame cap, use smoothing, all kinds of things, all the way down to the aspect ratio. Or you can do what I do and put in d3.bat here. And that's what I'm going to do because I'm, I'm going to go ahead and use that. Now, there's a number of things here that you have to make sure that are checked. Run in a window is important. Um, and then we want to make sure that this is on the desktop. And we're going to change the width and the height. Um, well, the screen location should be 0, 0. The width will be whatever the width of your monitor is. Mine is 1920 and whatever the height is, which is 1080. Um, and then after that, uh, there's really not a whole lot more to add. They've uh, eliminated a few options since I've done this. And you can hit this try button here, which will go ahead and start it up to make sure that you've got it correctly. Now you can see Descent 3 is running on my desktop in the upper left-hand corner. Um, Normally this goes full screen. Uh, this is good for streaming because you don't have to worry about uh, multiple monitors and strange res resolutions. So you can just hit OK here. Um, you know, you can do something like go into a multiplayer game. I'll just very quickly demonstrate with one of my servers here. And you can see and it's going to go into full screen mode. I think it's working. There it goes. And you can see I'm in Junebug with very little effort. And Descent 3 is running just fine, full screen. No stuttering whatsoever. Um, my aim's a little bad, but 
uh, that's because my mouse sensitivity is not where I like it for uh, these type of games, but I'm still working on that, but that's a separate issue entirely. And as you can see, I mean, that's all there is to set up uh, DXWND. It's uh, a fairly nice program. It is very compatible with uh, uh, OBS, so if you create a scene, uh, you can create a full screen game and a full screen window or application. A game capture, I think it's called. Uh, or you can do just your monitor capture. Uh, that could work as well. So definitely check it out if you enjoy Descent 3 and you would like to stream the game more on something like Twitch or YouTube Gaming. This is pretty much how you do it. Let me go back to my desktop here. And we'll exit out of here. You'll, you'll see some artifacts like this sometimes, this white box. Um, th that's okay. Uh, sometimes the text will be bad. Uh, this is just Descent 3's bugs. There's nothing to worry about. But for the most part, you should be okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's all there is to it. There's nothing more you need to do. You do not need to go into any of these because uh, hook enabled and hook all DLLs are the only other things that need to be checked. Um, and that's it. So whenever you want to start up D3, now what you do from the DXWND window, you have a Descent 3 uh, icon with a green circle. You just left click on it and then right click and run. And that's it. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them on the video below. And I will try to do my best to answer any questions you have.